Glenwood Springs, Colorado is where world famous hot springs meet the Colorado River. A place where Doc Holliday once roamed the streets and is now buried. A place where the teddy bear got its name. Come along with us as we show you a place on the west side of the Colorado Rockies where relaxation, adventure, and history all come together. A place called Glenwood Springs. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a minute of Colorado Martini. So we're in Glenwood Springs. Um, we're by the actual old hot springs. Um, they're right underneath me. And I'm actually standing over the I-70 at the moment. So we have pulled off the I-70 and it literally sits right on the I-70 and the Colorado River. There's many springs that you can go to here. But my personal favorite, let's take a look. The Ute Native Americans were the first to use the many naturally occurring hot springs of Glenwood Springs. They would use it for soaking, steaming, or inhalation of the vapors. They named the largest of the springs Yampa, which in the Ute language means big medicine. Soon, European settlers followed, and the area grew to become a tourist destination. Nowadays, many come to Glenwood Springs to relax and soak in the public or private spring pools. this wonderful hot tub place called Iron Mountain. It is so much better than the ones that we have gone to before. It's right on the Colorado River. I literally was in one of their pools just now and a bald eagle flew over in a low flyover. It was amazing. They have all these different pools that are different temperatures. Um, it's very tranquil. It's the it's just very, very nice. I highly recommend coming to these pools, Iron Mountain. Well, hello, sir. Hello. I'm looking for a little hair of the dog. This way. Okay. Can I you take me called, to... I think those are called water dogs. Yeah. Rejuvenation station. Now, I need a little hair of the dog. <laughs> Colorado River. So what's the temperature of this pool we're in? 108. <laughs> A lobster boil. Yeah, yeah. Dana. Uh, it's so cool being right next to Colorado River. Right <laughs> really great about this place is that all the pools have a different temperature. They go from like 99 degrees to like 108 and you can go to the different temperatures. So it's, it's just an absolutely beautiful day and it's just a wonderful place. You can get smoothies and uh, food and alcohol um, at their snack bar. It's just so relaxing here. Um, and what I really like is that they have a tranquil, quiet area and then they have the more 
family area over on one side. That makes it a lot better. So you look at this. It's just absolutely beautiful. That mountain, actually, that's um, looking to the south. And that area there is where Aspen is. So Glenwood Springs is the cutoff from um, the I-70 um, to take you out to Aspen, going south. So we're about 45 minutes north of Aspen. When you take a stroll over the pedestrian bridge from downtown Glenwood Springs, you will find the Glenwood Hot Springs Resort, which is the world's largest hot springs pool. Glenwood Hot Springs Resort is one of the oldest and most iconic tourist attractions in Colorado. The historic Hotel Colorado shares the landscape with the large hot spring pool area and is a short walk out their back door. In 1893, the Hotel Colorado opened its doors to the elite in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. In 1905, the hotel acted as the little White House of the United States when President Teddy Roosevelt came to the West for his famous bear hunt. After President Roosevelt returned empty-handed from his hunt, the housekeeping staff stitched together a small bear out of scraps of cloth. They gave it to him to lift his spirits. But he was not amused and gave the bear to his daughter, and his daughter named the bear Teddy. A reporter found this an amusing story and coined the phrase, Teddy Bear. An enterprising toy maker started making teddy bears and a legendary toy was born. In its early days, the hotel attracted famous people such as the gangster Al Capone, the unsinkable Molly Brown, President Taft, and the silent movie star Tom Mix.
John Henry Holliday, better known as Doc Holliday, suffered from the disease consumption, which is also known as tuberculosis or TB. By 1886, he came to Glenwood Springs, Colorado, searching for relief from consumption. He checked into the Hotel Glenwood. He seeked relief from the local sulfur vapor caves, which are still in existence today. But he was too far gone. He was shortly bedridden for 33 days and only was able to get up twice. He was delirious and in and out of a coma. 24 hours before he died, he did not speak. He died at 10 a.m. on November 8, 1887. He was buried that afternoon in Linwood Cemetery on the high bluff above Glenwood Springs. Friends he had made in his short time in Glenwood Springs took up a collection for his burial. So you can literally go white ra um, go rafting down the river. There's the Hotel Colorado right here, and then the pools. It's pretty awesome. And then there's the train that you can take in, and then the town's right behind me. So on this corner. Where this building stands now used to be the Glenwood Hotel where Doc Holliday died. So if driving isn't your thing, you can actually take the train all the way to Glenwood Springs. And it comes out of Denver. at our destination for the night, Glenwood Canyon Resort. Nice cabins. Yeah, we're not staying in the nice ones, we're staying in these ones. <laughs> here's, the, here's the bathroom. <laughs> Glenwood Canyon Resort. I've wanted to stay here for the longest time. The Colorado River's right there. You can go river rafting right from this resort. They have a bar and a grill. RV camping, tent camping. Uh, they have laundry. Laundry. Um, this common area where we're staying in is really, really nice. Uh, very shaded because it can get hot on this side of uh, the Rocky Mountains. Um, so we're really excited. Uh, right below us is the Colorado River and they have this wonderful bike trail that runs along the river that I have been wanting to do for a long time. So I'm really excited about that. So we just arrived to our cabin. We have those cabins that have a double bed 
and then they have uh, the bunk beds. What's nice about these bunk beds is that you can get into them in the end. I hate those other ones where you have to crawl in. They're so much better. Um, but this is a really, really nice resort. Uh, the difference between this and other places that we've stayed is that you have a common area, which is really nice. So everybody shares the picnic tables in the fire pit. Um, and then there's a couple of charcoal grills for you to use. And then, of course, this, the porch swings. So this is just absolutely beautiful. And we have this wonderful view of Glenwood Canyon. Tell me that that isn't just awesome. Of course, we found the bar. Huh, Mr. Martini? As usual. <laughs> so this is the view from the bar. So they have this like rope course right here. And there's the Colorado River. I don't know. All I know is my legs are buckling just looking at it. <laughs> so they have this nice bar and grill, and patio. It's the RV camping over there. It's just really, really nice. You can get RV camping down at the river. Excuse me, girls. <laughs> See, the Colorado River's right there, so you can get RV camping. There's also some cabins over there. This car is just made so hard. I mean, cucumber lime with some cranberry and Sprite in it. Oh my god, it's so good. And that's cuc cucumber lime vodka. I'll sitting here at the Colorado River with the love of my life. Oh, the bar and grill is pretty cool. <laughs> All kinds of shit, including laundry. See the hand crank? This crank is, your ass across the river. So this is private property. Who would own this? <laughs> well, they don't want you getting on it. Oh, you need some drunk kids trying to go across the river. Right? Like us? There you go. <laughs> There's the hand crank. Should be a thing you just pop loose and it goes zzzz out. Probably, probably stops about middle and you just need to start cranking. Go across the river. We are at the Glenwood Canyon Resort, which is really awesome. Um, There's the Colorado River. Pretty cool here. Um, that's I 70 right there. This place is not that expensive. We're staying in our cabin for, oh, it was like $80 a night on Memorial Day weekend. Um, they're a little more expensive down on the river, so we're up above. Got the, a bar and grill right above us. Things pretty cool. What do you think? has his boat. <laughs> so they also have these cabins that sit right on the Colorado. You have your own little picnic table. Um, and a fire pit. Oh, I'm on home. <laughs> These are very awesome. So this is just like our cabin, um, except it's right on the river. So it's just like ours, right? Pretty much. Yeah. I mean, how cool is this? 
literally right on the Colorado River. Same floor plan, different uh, exterior. Mm -hmm. Ours are log and these are siding. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so if you stay down here, <laughs> you gotta go up these stairs to get to the restroom. I don't know about that. That's, uh, I don't know, is it worth it staying down here on the river? <laughs> Going up the stairs <laughs> to get to the bathroom. <laughs> Here's their bathroom. So where's the bathroom? Right there. It's still another flight of stairs. Okay, so that's the big downfall. <laughs> okay, so those are the stairs. Drunk at night with a flashlight and you gotta pee. <laughs> Those are the stairs to the bathroom. There's the bathroom. Would you do it? We're too old. <laughs> I can just hear it. Daddy, I gotta pee. Can you drive me to the bathroom? <laughs> We're just below 6,000 feet. Yeah, and we are in altitude on top of it. <laughs> nice about this resort, too, is that you can go rafting straight from the resort. Um, so they have the buses and everything from here. They take you to a spot that they launch from. Um, but it's pretty cool that you, it's right here in the I resort. The spot. Walk in the bike trail. Walk in the bike trail. Walk in the bike trail. Why the hell we're not biking it? I don't know because our bikes are back. <laughs> because we're old and crusty and it's like really steep. See, <laughs> why you got gears. Brakes are the coward well, pedal. I can go down okay, but going up's a different story. We're filming now. Anyways, we're walking down the bike trail right next to our, our campsite's right there. Right. Um, we're going down to the Colorado River, so we're kind of we're kind of checking out the bike trail for the morning. I can do the river, Bob. That's a veggie tail, isn't it? It is. Yeah. <laughs> Who was that? I don't know why they the want my Bob to ride in the river. That was Jonah. The it was No, the, Jonah's where you got slap with fishes. Yeah, but it's the beginning of Jonah where he goes he see the tomato is singing, driving to the river bob, driving to the river bob. It's veggie tails, it's Jonah. You say so. I why swear. are you recording this conversation? Because it's it's I don't know, I always record <laughs> conversations. Someone's been traveling. It's just over the fence. But I can't get over the fence. So we can have to walk all the way up this path uh, to get to the bar. <laughs> I need my alcohol. <sighs> oh. Oh. The drama of it all. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna like having kind of a community fire pit, but it's turned out to be so wonderful. I have met the nicest people from all over the place, and we're sitting around the campfire and it's just marvelous. I really recommend this. Make sure to catch all our videos on the beautiful state of Colorado.